Walmart vegetable or ve yeah, vegetable playlist. Okay. This guy fucking sucks at Mario. Despite the obviously precarious platforms, he sucks so fucking bad at that game. He should just stop jumping. Just can't stop jumping. Platform Park. Ooh, shiny. And auto scroller. I probably shouldn't have gone with the spin jump. Once you're the rope state glitch, aren't you just permanently in it? If anything doesn't grabbing the rope, put it back. I don't know. I don't know enough about the details of rope glitch. Hi, Risky Fondue. How you doing? That is like some Sonic not background nonsense there. Like flamingos cut in patterns. A much more normal level. Not sure why I jumped there. Goodbye, fish. Goodbye, hammer bro. I am not even touching that. I know better. I know better. It's mildly risky. And that's the midway. Alright, this is a much more conventional, normal VLDC level. I like the backgrounds. I jumped on this too early. That's what I think happened. <laughs> uh, I panicked. Five points is quite the steal. That's the thing, is it's not supposed to, like... It's not a binding thing, right? Like, I'm gonna pick and choose to some extent. It's just a, this is what you guys think could be interesting kind of thing. So, five points, whatever. Ooh! Oh, I wasn't expecting that. Oh, wait, that's not safe. Have I done 69? No, I decided not to because I know what kind of level it is, and uh, it's not a level I want to do right now. It's the kind of level that will take a long time and use a mechanic that I don't really like. I don't think that's why it was picked. I think it was picked because haha, -ha, funny number. Or nice number, I suppose, is the right way to, to put it, but... Just because you request it doesn't mean you're getting it. <laughs> not today, at least. Now, I need to take a break from... I need to not have played a coin snake level in like a few days before I want to touch that. Because I just don't like coin snake levels, and I had to just, I already did suffer through the two hours and change that was the penultimate QLDC level. I didn't need to jump there. And there's a reason it was held to last. I don't think this level liked that. Let's see if it's dead dead. This level did not like this. Yep, it's dead dead. It happens sometimes. There we go. We'll see where this puts us back. See if it'll actually, if save Char will work fine for this. Try to get to be sworn out, out again. Because it should work. Usually if uh, there's something with SA1 that's not happy, but it's something I should fix. Or it could just be the interface being wacky again. Okay, well, that, that's not going to do anything. There we go. It doesn't understand upside down face. It will never understand upside down face unless someone makes upside down face the character, I guess. 
But even then, upside down face will not be a no pokey. Jump. Now I can jump into that again. That was dumb last time. It's a case where I don't really mind losing the progress because, like, it's a relatively short first half. I feel like I'm running into, like, lots of auto scrollers, though. SQL Server supports emoji. Why don't I? Uh, because I'm a Neo Luddite. Same answer as an awful lot of other reasons I don't support things. Night. Well, okay. I feel like there's got to be something more over there. I think the day I saw that you could declare function names with emoji or something in uh, JavaScript was like, I think I'm just out moment. Whoops. But like, see, we didn't really lose much. Didn't take much time to fix her up. Wait. Uh, can I survive this? No. Make Visual Basic great again? Oh, wouldn't it be nice? I maintain that Visual Basic and Access were truly amazing products that were ahead of their time, and nothing has really moved to replace them. If I can give one core central thesis to my, my stream, it's that the tools that made things easier in the past, except game making, are pretty much just gone. Like, you need to write yourself a simple line of business app, you're better off writing it in Google Sheets, because damn if the other tools are going to make it easy to do. You're going to be learning SQLite whether you want to or not. For some reason, I thought he was a splitter. And there's our friend Pokey, roughly where we crashed. I guess a little bit after, because I got on here, right here, that's where we crashed. Yeah, that is a weird feeling obstacle, the, the saws conjoining. That's... Just use AI like most people. No. Web, now web forms are better than razor pages? I don't know what a razor page is. But yes, they probably are. Because nowadays people are like, oh, I need to do a web thing. I better get my React. And the answer is no. Just make a form. It's a web form. It works. It's proven technology. It's ancient technology. Hell, use a Google form. It doesn't even matter. Like, I don't do any fancy things on my website. I just... You know, use forms for pretty much all the submission stuff. And I'm so lazy, I even use Git requests that mutate things. I just love the disco ball in the background. That's really, that's really nice, actually. Of course, you guys don't see any of those Git requests, so it doesn't actually matter. See, you're better off just going for the risky strat, you know? Just spin jump on all those suckers. Spin jump on all those fish. Hooray for fish fountains. This is this gonna persist? One of those new shiny languages like T4 for HTML. Weird. I don't know what T4 is. It's a kind of a level concept I kind of appreciate. We've got like these tight, constrained platforming challenges with saws. And kind of appreciate it. Um, well, that didn't work. That was also not the thing to do. Hey, what? Oh, okay, they put the pipe in front of the pipe. Yeah, I kind of maintain, like, in terms of building simple things, Flash was way better. Punched. It's called Platforming Park. Eh, that's fair. None of Saw-inspired hacks. The hack where Mario has to cut off his arm to find the key to exit to the secret level. I've never actually seen any of the Saw movies. The best, that, the best I can really conjure is the bit from, uh... Whatchamacallit? 
Always Sunny in Philadelphia, where they're playing uh, Char D. McDennis, which is a horrible conjunction of all the board games with insane rules, and also... Uh, wait, what? Oh, I need to do that before it got there. Ah. And there's a bit near the end where he, Frank claims that somebody has a key embedded in their arm and they have to dig it out with these electrified tweezers. Like, that's not a board game! He's like, haven't you ever heard of Operation? They're like, oh yeah, no, that makes sense. And Charlie starts digging it out of his arm. How'd I miss them? I don't watch I don't watch very many movies. Just period. I wonder if it responds. Maybe I don't want to push that to move at the start. Or I can just let it do that. That's fine, too. Or I could just do that. Probably because of car custom ASM and no one likes to do ASM. I mean, a lot of... I mean... A lot of people do like to do ASM. I think Daiso kind of enjoys it. Donut clearly enjoys it. D to the fourth clearly enjoys it. Uh, Silkry clearly enjoys it. Like, there's a good few people who really do enjoy writing ASM, it just, there's not very many of them. Max clearly enjoys writing ASM. Donut enjoys? Maybe becoming an ASM moderator has sucked the joy out of it. It does happen to the best of us. I still haven't lost my enthusiasm for Mario World, despite having been a moderator for what is now a very long time. I don't think, I mean, there, I guess I actually know a decent number of the moderators still have a longer tenure than I do, like BK. Ah! Smart. Still smart. Okay, new plan. Get the dragon coin, because I can. Land on the block, because I can. And then actually go through the level the normal way. And then not realize there's a saw coming for my ass. <sighs> hmm. I... Nuts! Did not expect pokey. What do ASM moderators do? Clearly not moderate the patch section? I think that's what they're supposed to do. Maybe moderate sprites and other things in those sections that have ASM? I couldn't tell you, really. How much do I get paid? Whatever you guys see in Twitch ads. I guess. I've never seen any Kathy Gold points. Or coins, or whatever. To be fair, it's been years since I've actually intentionally run an ad. And then when that one time I intentionally ran an ad, it was on accident. So, I clicked the wrong button during a chat hacks, and you guys had to watch an ad. And I was like, never again. And I haven't. Like, there's a page that shows how many ads I've run, how many minutes of ads I've run per stream, and it's empty for the whole year. Okay, well, those don't count. <laughs> Nobody gets paid for those. Which is for the best. They're more fun than anything else. Okay. Well, it didn't really matter. Don't stand in the middle. Okay, there's going to be a saw that comes right at my face. Then there's this. I guess I'm supposed to ride the saw and not get... I guess I'm supposed to ride the second saw and not get hit by the pokey. I don't know where this saw is going. I don't trust this saw. I don't trust the orb. I don't trust that thing. Okay, I guess it was okay to trust the orb. I've debated whether or not to make an actual, like, play ads button, but I don't think I want to. Thanks for the GG. That was fun. 
That was a much more conventional VLDC level than the most of the ones I played today. I liked it. Simplicity. Mostly platforming. Let's see, technically speaking, I played five of them, but I only beat two. Or I only beat three. 